In this video, I'm breeding Asian forest scorpions. This is a really fun and easy species to produce. I like them because of their larger size and ability to live communally. What made me pair these was the fact that my females stopped eating. As an adult, once they stop eating consistently, it's usually a sign of some sort. They're either ready to breed, old age, they could be well-fed or gravid. And since I raised her up, I know for a fact she isn't too old and she's not gravid. When I dropped the male in, they went at it almost immediately. Bark scorpions I raised up did the same thing once they hit about seventh instar and mature. They'll stop eating at some point and just want to breed. This entire pairing lasted around 15 minutes as they took a lot of long pauses throughout. When breeding scorpions, they may complete the ritual all in one go, and sometimes they separate. If they separate before fertilization, it could be that the female wasn't ready or got spooked. If she isn't ready, you'll be able to tell from the beginning that she'll attack the male or run away. Most times when they separate, they'll end up back together after a few minutes. Male scorpions need a solid surface to deposit their spermatophores on. I found that using bark works best for every species I've ever bred. Slate rocks are fine, but cork flax have always worked better for me, especially when it's a big enough piece that they can walk around on. Once the spermatophore is deposited, the male will walk the female over it to fertilize her. At this point is when females can become aggressive and attack the male. Most of the commotion seems part of the ritual, but I've seen males get snatched up right after doing their due. If I have to cohab a pair for breeding, I'll keep them well fed and even keep extra feeders in the enclosure with them. Gestation for forest scorpions can range from several months to a year. The best part about these scorpions is they don't require supplemental heating like other species do to produce decent sized broods. If kept well fed, the babies can all be raised together. Some people even keep them with the mother, but that's slightly more risky being that adults would eat smaller scorpions. So you have to make sure the mom is kept well fed. Asian forest scorpions are a staple in the scorpion hobby. They are one of the best pet scorpions you can keep and are very easy to breed should you want to try to do this yourself. Throughout the rest of the video, I'll pop back in and explain things periodically. Here are the timestamps for when I start back talking. All right, so here's a sort of telltale sign that they're about to finish. Once they start rocking back and forth and the male starts waving his tail, um, that's a good indication that he is depositing his spermatophore.
kind of hard to see here, but the male on the left, you can see his chelicerae, his mouth parts are lifted up. And right under it is a gaping hole, like his mouth is wide open. All right, so here's the spermatophore. And from here, he's gonna walk the female over it and this will fertilize her. And you can see she got a little aggressive right there. Now she walks over it herself, the male backs out. He's back in his enclosure. And she kind of sits over it for a little bit. She's kind of like just absorbing it. From here, I'll keep her well fed and Maybe we should have babies in like six months to a year. I will do an update video when I get the babies.